The Israeli command put out the fires of Gaza with a blanket of troops today, doubling its forces in the strip, shutting it off and closing it down. The only pedestrians were soldiers walking through the wasteland. The only vehicles, ambulances and jeeps. In a phenomenon reminiscent of so many wars, the army controlled the main roads, the Palestinians ruled the alleys. But the Israeli commander of Gaza said this battle was over. We dominate all the area and uh, there is no problem. But in other places, refugee camps and Palestinian towns were coming alive again in what often seems to be the only way they know how. Some of the angriest rioting was not in Gaza or the West Bank, but right in the center of Israel. This confrontation between Israelis and Arabs, for example, is unfolding a couple of miles from the smart suburbs of Tel Aviv. The barrels never stopped glaring in Arab villages, which had hardly heard trouble before. In Nazareth, an Israeli struck a statuesque pose on a pedestal in what appeared to be an old and tired drama, a rerun of the opening night of the uprising 29 months ago. The same sets and costumes, the same players, the same passion. The passion which Israelis believed had abated, but which was stirred into life again by yesterday's mad mass murder. The 21-year-old confessed killer, an Israeli who'd been dishonorably discharged from the army, was remanded in custody today in chains and unrepentant. Israel's leaders insisted he had committed an insane and isolated act and that the violence it engendered would soon pass. I think it's a matter of a few days and the situation will uh, come back to normal. But demonstrators outside Shamir's house claimed it's the bloodshed which is normal when there's no political settlement. I think it really shows again the real absolute urgency of us sitting down to speak peace to the Arabs. The army canceled some training exercises today to be ready for future incidents. In Jerusalem, Israelis and Palestinians were still locked in a familiar and fatal embrace as if nothing had changed in two and a half years. Bob Simon, CBS News, Taipei, Israel. Four 